roads, bridges, tunnels. Infrastructure is fundamental to the American story. But today, it seems like building things can take a lifetime. A further delay to the California bullet train. It's a major delay in the second phase of Metro Silver Line. Over the years, efforts to replace the aging bridge have failed. What's the deal? Why has it become so hard to build stuff in America? Say you want to build a new highway to ease congestion in a rapidly sprawling suburb. You'll need to conduct environmental reviews, secure permits, coordinate across multiple levels of government, and negotiate contracts with unions, to name just a few. It adds up. Just take environmental reviews. One study found that over a 40-year period, the time it took to complete environmental impact studies for highway projects grew to take four times as long. Of course, all of these things are important. What good is that new road if building it damages the environment or causes more harm to the community it's meant to serve? Reason number two. It turns out digging up the earth and laying concrete is expensive. Civil engineers estimate that to address all of the nation's infrastructure needs by 2029, we need to spend an additional $2.6 trillion. There's just one problem. You guessed it. How to pay for it. There's no shortage of ideas, just of the political consensus to make it happen. At least for now. We all want a faster, cheaper way to get to work. Until that route goes through our own backyard. NIMBYism, or not in my backyard, is driven by vocal politicians and constituents taking over the planning process to gum up the works. Planning for a light rail line connecting Washington, D.C.'s Maryland suburbs started in 1983. Litigation over the project was one of the factors that helped slow the project to a crawl. The good news? It's on track to open, more than 40 years later. And then there's the opposite problem, yimbyism, or yes in my backyard. Take California's efforts at high-speed rail. The state was unable to pick a route connecting the population centers in the north and south because too many cities in the middle wanted to be a stop on the line. Eventually, the project got so bloated and costly, it had to be scaled back to just the ones in the middle. Here's a surprising take. A lot of infrastructure is actually getting done. Drive anywhere in America and you're likely to see a local crew paving a street or fixing a pothole. But those projects aren't sexy, so no one talks about them. While overall spending on new infrastructure has declined, the amount we spend fixing things has gone up. But don't expect to hear about that repaired pothole on the local news. And that's why it's so hard to build new stuff in America.